How's it going everyone? Scott McKay here from Airbrush Down and Dirty Tricks. Today we're going to do something very simple. Old technique has been around forever, but it comes in handy with a lot of cool projects, especially some of my live feeds I got coming up. This is going to be a granite texture. I'm going to show you two techniques on how to get this granite texture. Super easy, super fast. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do, obviously, is have your substrate or your panel. In this case, uh, for the project, I'm using a, this is called Alumacore or Plastic Core, Dorabon, there's a lot of different names for it. It's aluminum both sides of the PVC core. Or you can just get a straight piece of 040 aluminum, and these are coated in white ahead of time. Uh, you can go either way you want, doesn't matter. Or if you want to do illustration board, do illustration board, doesn't have to be. You can do anything you want. If you're doing a hard surface like metal, you have to prep it first. You know how I prep this, I gave it a quick run with 600 and a red scotch bright. So that's going to give it a good tooth of the artwork. So that's important to get your adhesion. With that said, let's get to the project. Let's get to how to do granite. So the first technique for doing granite is the way I learned it back in the day, which is through an airbrush and using popsicle sticks or just any, any edge to deflect the paint off. And you'll see what I'm going to do. For this, I'm just using mixtures you know, of black and gray. I mean, black and white to get you know, to get just a medium gray. That's how I'm going to start it. You can start with black, you can start with different tones, however you want, there's no wrong way to do this. I'm going to start with the gray. I'm going to load it into my airbrush. This is already pre-mixed and reduced. And before I do that, I'm going to cover one side, just so you can see the differences. So, when you're doing this technique, you're actually spraying the paint onto the popsicle stick and deflecting it off. And what you'll see, I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit more here. What you'll see is the further back I go on the stick, the, wet, the more paint's going to get on the stick and it's going to fly off the end. So it's going to be bigger dots. The closer I am, they're going to be smaller dots. So, you can actually see the paint going onto the stick. Did you see that spray? See how it's all textured granite? And that's a pretty fine texture. I'm going to go with the whole thing. This is something you want to experiment with and play with. Okay, and I'm just deflecting it off. That's about how far down the stick. If I go here, let me try to zoom in, you can see that a little bit. See how that's all stippled? Now, if I go further back off of it, Way back here, watch what happens. Bigger drops of paint. And that's all done with that medium gray. Okay, and then what I do from here, I kind of cocktail. I'll go, I'll add some white and make it brighter. So I'll go with white, and I can add some. I can add some white to it. This might be hard to see on camera, but it's there. When you see it in person, you'll see all the different textures and tones. And then I'll go with almost a straight black. You know, just use the residual and just mix the black in. Let me zoom back out a little bit here. Get to a black color or a dark, dark gray. There you go. And now we'll hit the final. You can add different tones and you can airbrush over it and just kind of tone it. Just find the tone you want. And usually for the final, I will go back in with a very pure white. Again, and just get that last little bit done. Okay, so now I have pure white in the gun. I'm going to deflect all that stick again. And just put the final white specs. This is something you're experimenting with, however you want to do it. Big, small drops, all sorts of stuff. And you get this really cool granite texture. Patterns, you can put cracks and you can do all sorts of stuff in. 
Mine's a little blotchy in the center here, but realistically, it doesn't matter. Once you start doing everything, you can play with it back and forth. But that's how you do the airbrush in Popsicle Stick Trick. Works out great. Later videos will go over some cracks and how to do other stone effects. But that's how you get the general granite texture using an airbrush. So we did granite texture one. That's using the airbrush. Next side, we'll use a spray gun. I'll show you how to do that in case you have a spray gun. For the same thing, I'm using the same colors. You can also do this with primer sealers and things like that. Like I've done it um, with Createx Autoborn sealers, the gray and the black mixed together to get a stone texture. You have your spray gun. You have whatever spray gun you have with a gray color mixed on it. All I'm going to do, plug it in, and I'm going to turn the pressure way, way way down by going way down see how it's dripping out just go up a little higher a little higher and now you can do the same thing if i go a little higher the dots will get finer Oops, sorry about that Move the panel over a little bit so you can see. So yeah, so if I go higher pressure, the dots get finer. Lower pressure, they get bigger and thicker. Because lower pressure, the paint's going to fall off the tip as opposed to being shot out of the tip. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to switch off. With this case, I'm just going to pull my D-cup, my, not my D-cup. In this case, I'm going to pull my PPS cup off. And I'm going to add black directly to it. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna, same thing I did here, I'm gonna keep going multiple layers until I get what I want. I'm gonna pressure until I get my darker color. There we go, I got darker color. Now, same thing. Turn the first up more, a little finer. And now I'm gonna to go to a pure white and finish it off same as the other technique there's a little bit of glare down here let's see, let's see. it's not that light so now i got a white i'm just going to throw it in the cap a little bit same thing. Zoom in so you can see. I'm just gonna put those white specks in. So I'm happy with it. And that's it. That's the basics of how to get double stone grit patterns. My paint was a little <laughs> still wet over here, but I'll I'll, I'll fix that up. And that's how you get the two different textures. So airbrush, spray gun, they both look the same. You choose what you want. Obviously, wait for it to dry a little bit. I did this in one take, and I couldn't let this dry. But that's an easy fix. I'll just go back over it with the airbrush and retexture it. And this is ready. So if you're following along for the live feed project, that's how I got to this. I actually used the spray gun technique for this. I'm going to 12 by 18 inch panel. I actually did this with the Autoborn sealers, but you can do it with Createx Illustration or Wicked, Opaques, whatever you want to use, or Solvent, House of Color, whatever you want, doesn't matter. Get to this panel, and then we're going to go and apply the mask and do the live feed. See you all there. And that is a quick tip down and dirty tricks for how to do a basic granite technique using two different techniques. Hope you enjoy this quick tip. Subscribe and turn on notifications for more. And I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for checking it out.